These works of art are so different. Um, what direction do you give the students for each assignment? Do they have a lot of freedom? They just have to Their use choice. They just have to use a special program or have certain components. They just have to do ten prints and, and develop them in Photoshop. The subject matter stuff completely left up to them. Now I do have a, a book with about maybe five hundred projects. Where if they get stumped, they can look through that. But no, everything is on their own. That's why you see such a wide variety of subject matter. Is I don't. I don't want to stifle their creativity and say, you have to do this or you have to do that. Now, also, they, I demand a lot, and they know I demand a lot. And during the summer, they can't take photography unless they do a summer project. Okay. Because they have to come to school the first day with prints ready to go. That so that is, a, that is an assignment. Sure. You know, I might say, you know, go to the coastal Louisiana and take pictures or whatever. But uh, no, if you don't demand a lot, you, you won't get a lot. And they know it. They know I love them. Have any students ever sold some of their artwork? It's uh, phenomenal. This print, for example, has probably sold this year in the last two months about 50 to 70 prints. With the crab on it? Yeah, and what we're going to be doing, all of this work will be in an exhibit, and the museum liked the work so much, they are going to the last day of the show, they're going to invite 100 guests to give $100 each. And they will serve them a dinner. We're getting someone to donate the dinner, a steak dinner. And then when they leave, they can take a photograph with them. Wow. But that will fund, that's $10,000 to fund next year's exhibit. Wow, that's a great idea.